Hi everyone, it's Jules by Jude here, and we're gonna do a Skinner blend today of Keto. And uh, if I can say it right, I keep saying Keto and having to stop the camera. So that is me. But anyhow, this is Keto Polyclay, and it took me a while to get this stuff out of the package. Uh, I guess that's a good thing because if you think about it, the uh, Keto clay is different. It's uh, usually a harder clay, at least what I have found. So let's get started. And this time, what I'd like to do is start conditioning this. If you notice that this clay is thick, you'll see that, you know, that it is. And it's pretty warm in here, I'm gonna be honest with you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this clay, and this is about an ounce of clay because this was in their um, variety pack and it's an orange so I'm going to flatten that sucker out and the reason why I'm doing this is because it's a different kind of clay uh, who couldn't use a refresher course on uh, Skinner blends huh so yesterday I did a tutorial on some of the Wish products and I'm going to continue that. And I'm also ordered, like I said I would, I ordered one pre-made cane from Etsy. Now it's going to take over a week to get here for some odd reason. I guess they ship. And, and I know that doesn't sound like a long time, but when you're used to some of these quicker shippings, that have been going on with eBay and Amazon and all of that. I guess it does seem long. But let me tell you that it will take it takes a week for that. It's not outside the US. I tried to stay inside the US with this purchase. So in doing so, I was able to uh, accomplish that. I stayed in the US. I, I did Etsy and it's they ship once a week on Wednesdays. So I'm looking at next week and uh, I hope to bring that particular one. Now the one I ordered from eBay also I believe will take a week. So uh, unusually. Now these canes that I ordered are not your average wish canes. They are canes that are made by one of you ladies out there that make them and resell them. They look like regular canes. They're not mini canes. Well, one might be. I'm sorry. One might be. And I think I did that because I wanted to compare the wish cane to the other cane that I'm going to get. And hopefully that will be a... Uh, an interesting video for you to watch. Now, the reason why I'm doing the pre-made canes is A, I, I happen to come across them on Wish, and B, sometimes to be embellish, I think some women out there would, you know, benefit from that. To be able to embellish quickly and not have a lot of canes sitting around for years. So, uh, anyway, I, I do make my own canes too, but not to that degree because I'm still young in the biz, so to speak, and uh, I'm learning. Let me get this in here. I'm learning and I'm trying new things out, and um, this is you seeing a person actually learning how to do this craft. And, uh, so you can be the judge of that. But I do enjoy it. I also enjoy other things as well, like I probably told you guys a million times. So anyhow, let's get this kicking. And this is how I'd like to do this one. It's something like this. And I'm offsetting. Oh, well, that was unexpected. So we're going to have to go back in. This clay is different. It's, you know what? Uh, Someone said it smells, it does smell a little bit, but look, it's still apart, but it will get back together there. 
want to offset it a little bit. Hopefully I'm in this camera range here. My, I got my big giant hands in the way. All right. Now, it's a little off set, meaning there's a little bit more yellow here, a little bit more orange down here, and we have the translucent in the center. And we're gonna see how that goes. I'm gonna put this through my pasta machine. And it's gonna be a few turns. So what I'm gonna end up doing is probably skipping ahead in a moment or two and you can do that now if you like and then just step in later okay I skipped ahead to here so I've folded it over and I'm going to put it through on my thickest setting and we will see how our blend comes out is starting to transition. It is not an easy roll, so if you do have a, an electric one, God bless you. But not easy. Okay, so at this point, I will be back in a moment. I'm gonna... All right, I'm back. And this is my Kato blend and my sweat and tears. All of the translucent is gone. Well, it's not gone, it's in there somewhere. But it's center is there. And uh, what we're gonna do is fold this over. We're going to fold it over once for now. See how it got longer? Oh, it's going to get even longer. I'm going to fold it again. I'm going to put it down through the machine like that. <laughs> it's a challenge, especially if you don't have an electric machine. Probably like, do yourself a favor. Well, that's what I felt like in a minute ago. But I don't have any mechanical ones. I'm going to lay this out. And I'm going to hope that you can see some of this. And I'm just going to, all right. Now this is, I like the texture of this clay. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I don't know. It smells like plastic. That I have to agree with, okay? Um, now, what's gonna go on here is, this clay is just plain different. I, to me, there's nothing that's that similar, pliable. It's it it breaks like cracks easily, and I mean I have had this thing through this pasta machine at least 60 times. That's no lie, and I'm not gonna make. I, I mean you'll have to take my word for it because I'm not gonna make anybody watch me put this through this machine 60, 70 times. But I am sweating. Now, um, we're going to see, you know, how it comes out. And I've done some things with this clay before. But not to this extent where it was all this clay. And I'm not even sure if I did a full blend, uh, Skinner blend before with this clay. But um, I wanted to because there's some good things about this clay. Now I'm pushing rather hard because I want to keep this, you know, together. It feels like it's going to crumple apart because it, it wants to say, hey, I'm dry, but it's not. It's, it's just the texture of this clay. Now we're going into the oranges here, which is, is nice. Now, I'm hoping that because I put some translucent in this K2 
team that when I go to make something out of it, and you will be the first to see that. Um, well, I don't know about the first, but... <laughs> You'll see it. <laughs> All right, now I'm just gonna cut this off. It's just sticking. All right, let's see here. It fell all the way over here, so. All right. Now, really and truly, look how solid that is in the center. Crazy. Let's see what happens when we do this. There we go a little better. It doesn't squeeze down as like the others, you know, like it's, you can't, like some of the other kinds of clays that you use, you cannot work with right away. And this one, it looks like you can. I'm going to wipe the sweat from my face. <laughs> oh my gosh. I must think I'm crazy. Alright. <laughs> um, there it is. I am going to make something with it, but I am going to let it rest regardless of the fact that it may not really need to be, you know, set aside, but I am. I want to show you one or two things that I'm working on and using. So, let's... Let's just cut this one more time so you can see the plug. I think that's what they call this type, a plug. Okay. I'm probably going to put it in wax paper in a minute, but right now I'm going to set it aside. Okay, so that's done. You saw that. I'm going to splice together the video of me plowing through this type of clay and um, later on you'll see me do something with this cane hopefully and uh, we'll be back with that so let me put this aside I have my lamp on here and I did some UV uh, this you guys this should look like really very familiar with you this is to you this is that plate that I did with wish now this is a different one here turn my lamp off and um, the difference here is well I'm not done with it yet it has a little bit of uh, UV oh look that came right off perfect I like this a lot guys uh, this texture and I want to show you is how well this is not done I got to do the back so please don't be judgmental on that part look at this uh, I want to show you what I did the other day. This is a uh, rolling pin of sorts. It's plastic. And, uh, and then I probably nailed your ears there. But uh, anyway, it's plastic. And it is used for fondant. And uh, I got it at an estate sale. And what I did, and I didn't open it in front of you, but this is it, y'all. This is what it looks like. This is what it looked like. This is the name. And so what I did was I got this. They had it on sale for $5.99 somewhere. It doesn't say. And it was $3 when I bought it. And originally it was $9.99. It was in the party section of some sort, and it's called Reading Upside Down Sunny Side Up uh, Bakery Fondant in Imprint Rolling Pin Hand Wash. That's what it is. And this is the result of a piece that I did with it. And I also uh, put the UV resin on top of it and a hole in the center up here, and I'm going to make a pendant out of it. So I'm um, going to show you that how I use this uh, at a later date but I wanted to give you something to look forward to I guess mix in all these videos together I just cleaned off a spot over here believe it or not all right look at this now before I, this is still hot so you'll have to get another shot of this later but I want to explain what this is indeed this is a bowl just a regular bowl 
and I did it's like a trinket bowl it's what it's going to be for me I haven't decided what I'm going to put on the inside or the outside but I thought it looked cool and when it cools off I'll take it out this should look familiar this is the mold that I used uh, yesterday in my video look at that I learned how to put this clay in this mold and use this mold but I had an issue and that was the stem of the feather fell off so this was cooking longer this does this can up uh, you know this uh, mold can withstand some of the heat so I saw a video where they told you you know how to work with this mold so what I'm going to do is shoot a video with just this mold if I can get this to come out properly we'll see uh, it, it, if it's going to be a failure I'm not going to I'm not going to videotape that because I already videotaped some of this yesterday but if you can see this is the detail on this feather it's really beautiful really beautiful and if I can't get this to come out with the stem and looking the way I want it to because this stem is pretty thin you know I don't know that it needs a stem or oh no I'm calling it a stem but it's a feather but anyway I think that that's where the drawback is gonna lie if I can get it out of there properly which I, I will it will come out because obviously this did and it's got great detail what you could do is if you got this out you could put this on another piece before or after you bake it to keep the stem on it because I'm not really seeing where else like as a pendant where you'd be able to use that feather unless you took off the stem which 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 is actually what I was going to do so anyhow enough for today I'm going to splice that all together and we'll be working with that Kato plug in the near future and you'll be seeing some of these things that I just showed you uh, update as we go by so thank you appreciate you watching again I'm gonna put out as many videos as I can I know it looks like one a day right now but it'll slow down during the times that I need to do other things uh, which is work so uh, at any rate um, thank you again leave comments if you'd like questions that's fine with me and like it if you like it subscribe if you choose and share it if that's a, that's a great help because maybe somebody else you know may enjoy something like this so anyhow catch you later god bless